So you, you no, should no, call no, up no, Donald no, and tell no, him no, how no, mad no, you are about no. it. Yeah, let's get Jesse. Uh, she's so here. upset yeah. about RFK Jr. So what if he believes certain things about vaccines? Because they're so dangerous. What? Mm. If he believes certain vaccines are dangerous, so what, Jessica? So what? Why is that such a threat to you Are your personally? kids vaccinated? Yeah. So what? And why did you do it? Why did you make that smart Because decision? my doctor said to get him vaxxed. So what if he believes that about vaccines? I I've never seen you so upset over really? anything on this show. I think the Dobbs really Because what bad. he said about <laughs> vaccines one time. It's, 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 not one it's time. actually kind of weird that you're so upset about what one Democrat thinks about vaccines. You can do whatever you want with your body. I'm sorry, mate, can you say that again? You can do whatever you want with your body. You can do whatever you want with your kid's body. Your doctor can decide with you what to do with your body. Oh, so you do believe in bodily autonomy. What does it have to do with RFK Jr.? Thanks for Jr. advocating for Roe. <laughs> got him. We fucking got him. In the latest rendition of Left Ear on Fire, liberal Fox News host Jessica Tarlov had to sit and listen to the new Tucker Carlson replacement Jesse Waters rant incoherently in defense of RFK Jr. while simultaneously making a case against him before then unknowingly going on to make a pretty solid case for being pro-choice to which Tarlov couldn't help but alley the oop. He's not showing up on MSNBC. He's not going to CNN. He's not doing a local news interview, for instance. He wants to hang out with Joe Rogan. And they haven't like, invited him. That's yet. a lie. I, there is no possible way that there haven't been invitations. They don't want him to speak at a public hearing. Again, and I, I've said it a million times. It's really weird, guys, that you guys all like him, who's running for my party's nomination, more than I do and more than other Democrats do. So you, you no, should no, call no, up no, Donald no, and no, tell no, him no, how no, mad no, you are about no. it. Yeah, let's get Jesse. Uh, she's so upset yeah. about RFK Jr. So what if he believes certain things about vaccines? Because they're so dangerous. What? Mm. If he believes certain vaccines are dangerous, so what, Jessica? So what? Why are you, you so for him. passionate about what he believes about vaccines. Why is that such a threat to you Are your personally? kids vaccinated? Yeah, so what? And why did you do it? Why did you make that smart Because decision? my doctor said to get him vaxxed. So what if he believes that about vaccines? I I've never seen you so upset over really? anything on this show. I think the Dobbs Because was what bad. he said about <laughs> vaccines one time. It's, 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 not one it's time. actually kind of weird that you're so upset about what one Democrat thinks about vaccines. You can do whatever you want with your body. You can do whatever you want with your kid's body. Your doctor can decide with you what to do with your body. What does it have to do with RFK Jr.? Thanks for Jr. advocating for Roe. Now this discussion took place in between the new Fox segment titled, Slavery Was Just an Internship. No one is arguing slaves benefited from slavery. No one is saying that. It's not true. They're teaching how black people developed skills during slavery in some instances that could be applied for their own personal benefit. I mean, what's next? The Holocaust was just... Vic Frankel talks about how you had to survive in a concentration yeah. camp by having skills. You had to be useful. Utility. Utility okay. kept you but alive. Also... Oh, they already went there. Okay. You know, gender gender I... ideology? Just let me finish. <laughs> Ron DeSantis knows that this is bad for him because his first response was, I didn't do it. I'm not involved in it. We do know that it's a response to his 2022 act, the, quote, Stop Woke Act. And we also know that the type of people who are in charge of this overhaul, maybe not Dr. Allen, who you're going to have on tonight, or someone like Kim Daniels, who's on tape saying, I thank God for slavery, because without it, I would, still, I would be in Africa worshiping a tree. She's also an anti-Semite. She threw in that Jews own everything, which is a classic trope. But the Florida Department of Education released a statement in response to Kamala Harris's uh, speech saying, you know, she's got it totally off base. It includes, I think, 16 examples of these slaves that uh, learned their skills while they were doing this. And Joshua Stein from Georgetown pointed out that it's riddled with inaccuracies. So first of all, they say James Fortin as an example. He wasn't a slave. He was a sailor in the revolution. Then we've got a couple of your blacksmiths, by the way, who were not blacksmiths at all. Ned Cobb, um, he was a sharecropper who became the head of the Alabama Federation Sharecropper Union. 
an amazing example of achievement. Lewis Latimer as well. He was called a blacksmith slave in the Florida Department of Education piece, but he was an inventor who ended up getting two patents and was hired by the Edison Company. Mm -hmm. It felt so, to me okay, like so it when was, I ask him tonight, ask him, yeah, exactly ask him about that. that. We'll find I'll out send exactly you the article. what. Okay, yeah, we the will. Truth is. We will. I, it just felt that they were trying really hard to de-emphasize that the American experience with slavery was so bad. They talk about how much worse it was in other places. It was really bad here. It's like akin to when people say, oh, like Sally Hemings was Thomas Jefferson's girlfriend. Okay. So, so let me see. You're Do you think it's wrong to bring up that you slavery can't is around now? talk about the historical that record. Do you think it's bad to bring up the fact that slavery exists right now? No, I, I'm not because even... Because that would actually make us look good too. You see my point? Let me ask Katie. It never fails to amaze me how she's able to keep a level head. But she does, and in turn makes her co-hosts look even more incoherent than they actually are. Which is no small task considering the things that they spew on a daily basis. To ask the African Americans watching right now, what's it like to be lied to by Kamala Harris? What's it like to be lied to by these buffoons on MSNBC who didn't read the curriculum? or The View, have no idea what the story is, have no idea what's going on down in Florida, and they act upset, they act enraged on your behalf based on a lie. I have the African-American PhD uh, we just heard from, oh. Dr. Allen, who's mm -hmm. going to be on the show tonight. I mean, he says this right here. This is well-documented among historians. This is historical fact that slaves did develop skills while they were enslaved and then used those skills as blacksmiths, uh, as in agriculture, uh, tailoring, uh, in the shipping business, to then use to benefit themselves and their families once they were free. But here's the thing, as more reports emerge about the strength of the economy, how Bideconomics is working, and the fact that Biden has got 140 federal judges confirmed already, positively impacting his 2024 polling numbers. Zeleny is not a dumb person. He knows that if RFK wasn't polling so well, his remarks wouldn't be censored, they'd be dealt with. The Democrats would be smart if they did some self-reflection here because RFK is popular, not just because of his views on the vaccine, he's popular because on key issues, he represents the values of the old Democrat party. Well, you can expect them to dive deeper into the bottomless pit and pull out more things like this, desperate to stir outrage, to deflect attention away from the fact that Democrats are getting things done. We fought a war to end the sin of slavery, a civil war. People died by the untold numbers in that war, many of whom fought and died because of their belief that slavery was a sin against man, that it was inhumane, that it was not reflective of who we believe ourselves to be as a country, and certainly not reflective of who we aspire to be. So who then would dare deny this history? Let us not let these politicians who are trying to divide our country win. Because you see, what they are doing, what they are doing is they are creating these unnecessary debates. This is unnecessary to debate whether enslaved people benefited from slavery. Are you kidding me? Are we supposed to debate that? Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.